good sir. Thanks. Babe. So you're from Bombela? <laughs> yes, I'm from Bombela. Mpumalanya. <laughs> and now you live and work here? Now I live and work in Joburg, moved here in 2005 for grade 8. Mm -hmm. Went to St. Mary's, a girls school. Oh boy. So yeah, you know when I was finished with uh, oh, high school, boy. Yeah, boys look really nice. <laughs> boys look really nice after school. <laughs> you know, this actually answers a lot of questions because yeah. we out here and we're going to be profiling cars and she's wearing Timberland heels. Yes. Right? Yes. Hey. Tata. <laughs> yeah. So when did your love of radio begin? Um, the love of radio began when I went to Boston Media House. I was studying there. My lecturer asked me to... Representing. <laughs> yes. He asked me to stand up and um, say our names without saying our names. Explain okay. our names without saying our names. Cool. So I'm like, peace. And I'm speaking. Everyone's like, okay, Kuto. Then he called me after the lecture and he said, Kuto, you have a fantastic voice. Yeah. You should be you know, on radio. That's why you're here, obviously. And maybe you should also do a voiceover for Boston Media House wow. after DJ Fresh. So I'm like, me? Ah, You're in the first step yeah. of friends, the big girl. <laughs> you know, so I was really honored. And once that voiceover flighted, um, YFM, the youth radio station, called me and asked me for a demo. Um, I recorded this demo, and after that, um, they didn't even listen to the demo. They just heard me say hi in the office and said I start tomorrow the doing a breakfast show. The rest is history. So from your love of radio to your love of cars, where did that begin? The love of cars, my dad, before he passed away, he owned an M3. Oh. And this is the Kushesha two-door. You used door. to steal it, ne? No, never days. Oh. My, dad was, my dad was a great man. I could tell you some things, but let's focus <laughs> on the car. So I loved the fact that um, we had that back home. Then I moved to Joburg. I did not know you could spin the Kushesh. Yeah. So um, we were on our breakfast show. A guy called Bule calls into the show and invites Mo Flavor to come and spin cars. Okay. So I'm like, nah, why are you only asking him? Can I come? Yeah, that's yes, okay. fine. Okay, then. Yes, and, <laughs> and I joined him and um, that day, when I just sat inside that kushesh, I fell in love. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing that made me fall in love with spinning was the smell of the rubber and you going through the yeah. rubber. The fact that you're in control is something that people think is crazy. And another thing, being a female in this industry is even better. Yeah. I think it's hella sexy. It is. You're right. <laughs> Hello. Hey. So I'm here with Bule, who's the owner of Soweto Drift Academy, and he's going to give us a little bit of insight into Kuto. So Bule, when this pretty little thing from YFM came to you and said, I want you to be the one to teach me how to spin. Yo, you know, it was, it was actually a surprise, because if I remember correctly, we were actually having conversation with more flavor, you know, yeah. on their show, you know, and then more than took the challenge to come and learn how to spin via right. our academy, Soweto Drift Academy. And then Kuto, for some reason, out of nowhere, like I didn't have her in my mind. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That she can actually do that because of, you see how Kuto, how beautiful she is. Like, she's an upclass woman. So you yeah. wouldn't actually expect somebody of her caliber to want to associate with car spinning and so right. forth. I couldn't say no to that because I know how much that will mean to other young women out there. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because automatically, it basically shifted the whole stereotype of what car spinning represents. Yeah. You know, her being part of the academy, you know, it basically helped us as a brand as well to actually translate exactly what we are trying to tell people when we talk about issues of inclusivity, yes. you know, regardless of gender. It's, it's part of the youth development and more so the black youth in motorsport, something that was never seen in our community before. <laughs> now, if you were to rate her between 1 and 10, what would, what, how, where would you put her? I don't want to lose Kuzo, you know, so I wouldn't give her a 10, you know, so I would give her a 10, nine and a half. So she keeps coming yeah, back. Yeah, so she keeps coming back for that half, you know. So she's pretty, so she she's pretty good. She's good. Trust me, she's good. And I like how even the community of young women yeah. are aspiring, like how are they looking up. Woo! 
I can't believe that the, the same person I was speaking to <laughs> earlier on was doing this. Right? I was actually saying to the guys back yeah. there that you contributed so much to global warming with all the smoke <laughs> that you caused. And I love that. I, I'm glad you got to see it live. Oh, it was amazing. I was yeah. even doing commentary. It was a whole thing. Yes. Everybody was like rooting you on. <laughs> so now, yeah. your passion for radio and your passion for cars coming together, how did that feel? Uh, honestly, it feels amazing. It's a blessing. <laughs> I'm going to rip both of them apart and spin uh, both the car and the decks really hard. So you I'm really excited. You were doing donut after donut after donut. Yes, yes, yes. amazing. Thank and you. And from seeing Thank that, you. Yeah. I decided, you know, I think you should join Kasi Car Culture full time. No, really? I really think me so. Me what do you think? Oh, what do you think? That was your audition. Let's do it. Oh. And you pop. Oh. So what do you say? Thank you.